What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about Dollarama. I was actually looking at like a list here of popular Canadian stores that I might be interested in learning more about. And I was a bit disappointed because most of the Canadian stores actually seem to exist in America. It's like, okay, Costco, Staples, Best Buy, whatever. And then something I did not expect that I've never heard in my life, Dollarama. First and foremost, uh, the name. Like I can't get over the name, what a name. Almost sounds like a, a, a TV game show or something like Dollarama. Step right up to Dollarama. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if that seems weird to Canadians that have heard Dollarama for a long time. But as an American who's never heard this word before, it's like Dollarama. It's kind of satisfying to say. Could even be the name of a mystical, far-off land of Dollarama where everything is a dollar. Or at least I assume everything is a dollar with a name like Dollarama, but that's what I'm kind of here to learn today. I want to learn about the history a little bit, and then maybe the good stuff, like a tour of the, the store and some of the stuff at Dollarama. We got to look at some of the stuff, let's be honest. So I have the Wikipedia here for Dollarama. Dollarama is a Canadian dollar store retail chain headquartered in Montreal. Sounds a lot similar to, like, America. We have the Dollar Tree, Dollar General. You know, a place you go for cheap, but not terrible stuff. But let's be honest, it's a great deal. So that's, that's why we're going. Since 2009, it is Canada's biggest retailer of items for $5 or less. $5! Ah, you see on the little logo here, it says $1 plus. You know, that's kind of happened in America, too. Like, at one point, dollar stores were, a, everything was a dollar. And if you went in and you saw something that was over a dollar, you were like, what? This is a, this is a dollar store, uh, back in my day. And then it's like, you know, as time has gone on, we've all kind of accepted that these types of stores have stuff that we're willing to buy for $2.83 instead of a dollar. So, Dollarama. $1 to $5, basically. Uh, over 1,500 stores in active in all Canada. Ontario has the most stores. Nice. Founded in Montreal in 1910. Over 100 years of Dollarama. Wow. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, 44 stores by 1992. Okay. Very cool. And I think with that being said... Let's take a look at this video where uh, someone by the name of Vanessa Vendetti on her channel is giving a tour of Dollarama. And I might have to skip around a bit. I apologize, but this video is 14 minutes of solid Dollarama shopping. And that would take a while, especially with how much I talk. So uh, if you want to see the complete tour, feel free to check out... Um, Vanessa Vendetti's video here about the Dollarama tour. Just looking at the outside, I gotta say, this is a nice building. Like, even the logo, like, I'm not even joking right now. This is a lot nicer of just a building than the Dollar Generals, the Dollar Stores of America. Like, I don't know if all Dollaramas look like this, but this is, like, much nicer and much bigger and grander uh, as well, which strikes me. But anyway, let's start the video. Hello everyone. So I haven't been to Dollarama in weeks, but because there's a fundraiser <laughs> at school, I am. <laughs> the way she says that, it's like, I haven't been to Dollarama in weeks. Like she, she could have been saying, I haven't eaten in weeks. Like it's <laughs> the, the need <laughs> to visit Dollarama is strong, uh, which I actually kind of can relate to. I think a lot, there's a lot of diehard fans of the dollar store type stores, but it's like, I haven't been to Dollarama in weeks. It's such a cry of exasperation. I am in need of some supplies to make those little good goody treat bags. So I okay. thought I would share quickly what is new to me this week. I hope you guys enjoy this tour. Okay. okay. These are really, really cute. The only thing is, look how pretty the little flamingo prints are. So simple for $2. I oh. love them. Um, the only thing is the mugs are not big enough for my coffee. Oh, man. I already get it. <laughs> I already get it. 
Um, cheap prices, and compared to dollar stores around America, there's a lot more variety here. And dare I say, I know we've only spent two seconds looking at flamingo mugs, but they're nice. Like, the designs are actually nice. Two bucks? These are new as well to me. They're, I think, $3.50 here. Okay, okay. Some new charcoal sticks for drawing. And we've seen those before, the chalkboard pieces of paper. <laughs> I get it. This is the other part of this kind of thing. You go to these stores, and you t the trap is you don't quite go in with a plan of what you want. So it, it, it traps you. You go in and suddenly charcoal pencils, flamingo cups, whatever. You're just looking around and getting uh, <laughs> like vintage flower plates you didn't even know you needed. Exacto knife replacements. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Oh. These are new. They're super plushy. This stuff is just like higher quality compared to American dollar stores. Like, that's really the biggest thing sticking out to me. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Room smells so nice. I love, love, love these bath bombs. So these are $3 a piece. Bath bombs. Wow, method. So this is quite more expensive, usually at Walmart and stuff. I love this, oh. um, it's a dollar fifty, and I actually really like that soap. It, it, it's lathery and it, it washes really well, so that's a good brand. So, man, I can't tell for sure, but based on what she's saying, some of this product you can like buy at other stores, but it's a lot cheaper when it comes to Dollarama. And also, it seems like the inventory, the stuff you can find at Dollarama changes like they will update what's available so you got to go back and got to see like what the latest greatest deal is is that kind of a thing kind of a fun thing cute so for a dollar fifty a little trinket holder nice Let's go through some of these prints just to show you this Hello. is what i mean and and like i'm not even kidding even the prints and stuff are just better like higher quality in this store compared to american dollar stores but this is what i mean Go, go, in, go into Dollarama and uh, coming home with 12 trinket holders, even though you didn't even plan on it. <laughs> it's nice. Hello. Happy. Yeah, it's nice. Undoubtable. Undeniable, I should say. Oh, some kitchen decor. Paint over them and do whatever word signs you'd like. Super huh. cool. A lot of decor. And here's some more little wood signs for a dollar fifty. This is like if you love thrift stores as well. Like you could just get trapped in here for hours, couldn't you? And and you wouldn't even be upset. Just gonna skip ahead a little bit more. I think I get some of the some of the vibe here, some of the gist of like the decor, the the cups and containers, and what else do we have? Stickers. And for a dollar, you can't beat these stickers. But there's nothing really that's appealing. Oh, these are cute. I, I bet that is the most commonly said phrase ever in, in Dollarama in history. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. If stickers for a dollar, it, it basically justify getting anything. And believe me, I'm one of those people who would be saying that. But nothing really that's appealing to me today. Okay. I like these ones too. I like using them in some of my pocket letters. I'll link a pocket letter tutorial up above wow. so you guys can <laughs> see what I'm talking about. Some washi that they usually have here. I don't like their... The stuff here is just higher quality. That's what's sticking out to me. It's just higher quality. Made me do it. What's this? My, uni <laughs> my unicorn made me do it. Awfully specific. Four dollars. Is that a bag or an apron? I think it's a bag. Okay. Cool. Craft. I prefer the non-colored ones at the Dollar Tree, but these are not a bad price at dollar twenty-five for fifty pieces. So you do have the Dollar Tree at uh, in Canada. You do have the Dollar Tree. Dollarama just seems like compared to the Dollar Trees here, this seems much bigger and a lot more variety. Uh, what do we have here? Containers. That's because they're four dollars for a set here. So you can pay two fifty for a set at Dollar Tree. The print, the cutout is a little bit different, but hey. Oh, these are cute too. They're little planting sets. Okay. 
So you've got all your little pots ready to go, and then you can just transition, sorry, oh, <laughs> transition that into the garden. <laughs> For $3, this is another cute little, oh, there's a little chicken in there. <laughs> cute little setup. I love those for little flowers. There's something very satisfying, very soothing about this woman's voice taking us around the Dollarama. Oh, uh, see, lots of containers. That's like, seems to be a running theme here. Lots of containers, nice containers. Nice to see these back in stock. I did get the, I believe it's the XOXO company brand, oh. um, but these are $4 for a really large spinner. So those are great for having in a pantry or in a cabinet. And these storage baskets cool. are super cute. You don't have to spray paint them. They're already Container. a nice oil rub bronze color for $4. Um, if you're doing that farmhouse look, at least you have some available options here. Cool. Is there? Do they sell food? Uh, I see they sell cleaning supplies. Lots of cleaning supplies, goodness. Uh, but do they sell food at Dollarama? That's the only thing that uh, she hasn't gone over, really. What is this? <laughs> what is this? It's an animal, it's a pet harness. That is looks like either a pirate or a uh, unicorn. Very good. <laughs> only at Dollarama. Okay, 250, good price. For two fifty, you've all. I mean, honestly, this is all Canadian dollars, right? So, uh, like four Canadian dollars are like roughly three U.S. dollars. So this is even cheaper than it it appears to me. Like these dollar amounts, like this would be even lower of a, a U.S. dollar, I believe. So, man, this is even better deals than I even realized. Already got your rhinestone work done on it, and they have ribbon, all sorts of stuff here. Really, really stepping up their game here with the wedding decor. Wow. This is not real, like lace. Get your whole wedding decorated at Dollarama. What else do we have here? What else? Cups, containers. And then I got wine glasses, so I'm making like little treat, <laughs> trying to make little treat cupcake look like thingies and then i got some of actually this here is 20 pieces which is a really great value and then this is a good value okay man there's a lot of containers okay well that was a good video that was a very nice video but something else i also have here that i think would be fun to cap off this dollarama extravaganza <laughs> discovery is this thread about what are the best kept secret items to buy at Dollarama. Oh man. So some Canadians responded and they said, not exactly secret, but pregnancy tests for a buck or two are a steal. You heard it here first. Yeah, <laughs> the pregnancy tests, not what I expected, but it's what I got. And for a buck or two, that is a steal. They're regulated by Health Canada, so they have to work. Cool. I mean, honestly, that is probably super valuable to a lot of people. A uh, 10-pack of small dishwashing sponges for $1. 10-pack? 10, 10 sponges for a dollar? Really? Are the sponges good? Those are great, the yellow-green ones. 10 good sponges for a dollar? Man, you, you just can't beat that. Like, <laughs> just can't beat that. I almost want to put my hands on my hips and be, like, shaking my head for a while and just be like... You can't beat that. Uh, <laughs> paint, accessory, paint accessories, such as the drop sheets. Roller liners are much cheaper compared to buying them at Home Depot. That seems to be another recurring theme. There's a lot of craft items and like home goods, handiwork type, do-it-yourself do things at Dollarama that are super cheap compared to the more expensive places like Home Depot and whatnot. Um, foam roller for a dollar twenty-five. Man, dishwashing sponges again. Space saver vacuum seal bags. That's the other. <laughs> that's the other thing about all this. Just the most random stuff you can think of. But that's kind of it's kind of the fun of places like dollar stores, like Dollarama. You don't quite know what you're gonna find, which is a fun feeling. Uh, you're gonna find some cool stuff for really cheap. And at the core of it, I think that's why so many people love places like this and why Dollarama is clearly so popular and successful in Canada. 
For fun bars for 33 cents. What is a for fun bar? For fun bars. Milk chocolate covered wafer. I've never heard of this. For fun, can I look up an image? Look at that. Very satisfying looking. Maybe I can make it a little bigger. Um, wow. It's like a giant Kit Kat, <laughs> basically. Giant Kit Kat, like all star child. The all star child of a Kit Kat Chunky and a Kinder Bueno combined into the for fun. Is this like something you can only get at Dollarama? I, I wonder. Uh, I might have to cheat treat this week and grab one. Ooh, it does look very good. It, sign me up for a giant Kit Kat. Um, the sack of popcorn with the weird clown for $3. Hmm. <laughs> That's why you go to Dollarama for the sack of popcorn with the weird clown on it. Okay. It, it tastes, it tastes just like movie popcorn heated or not. My favorite and glow sticks. Clown popcorn and glow sticks. Got it. Is that bad monkey popcorn? If so, I recently found out they are a local, local Canadian brand born during the pandemic. Definitely a Canadian company. Okay, there's a conversation spawning out of this weird clown sack of popcorn. And honestly, it's caught my interest. Um, definitely something I'd look at in Dollarama. Maybe be a little scared at at first. A lot of brand name cleaning products. Yeah! That's one of the great things, too, about dollar stores, is the brand name stuff. You, you can get, and you feel like you're really getting away with something. Truly. Mountain Dew Baja Blast for a dollar? Yeah. Now we're talking. Sunscreen? Okay. Um, organic rice cakes, two dollar per pack? How healthy. Um, <laughs> the plantain chips? They are one dollar. A lot of stuff for a dollar. Especially those sponges. Can't, I can't get my mind off 12 sponges for a dollar or whatever it was. Oh, they do sell food. Freeze-dried strawberries. Right, they sell the for fun bar. So they sell candy and food. I just didn't see it in the video. Cool, cool. Man, do not get the packing tape. It falls right off. All right, you heard it here first. Don't get the packing tape. Glassware, planters, soil, bristles, hairbrushes, measuring spoons, knife blocks, coconut water, Chocolate covered butter cookies. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. And kettle cooked chips. They have to have snacks. Okay. You know, I think I get it. Like, honestly, I think I actually get it. Um Dollarama. I had never heard that word, that name, in my life until now. And I understand the hype. I get it. It's like a better dollar store at least you know the dollar stores i've popped into in america they don't have good reputations they probably are very popular to be honest because you just can't you can't deny a good deal but uh some of the stuff is real low quality the variety is quite stale they don't get updated very often whereas dollarama seems to have the best of all those things so i really do understand it i appreciate the dollarama it's a canadian store so I don't know when I'd ever get the chance to pop in one, but it sounds like it'd be a real hoot, honestly. And I might come out with a lot more stuff than I planned on, but that's kind of the fun, isn't it? Anyway, if you had fun, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada and Canadian culture and just stuff in Canada that I've never seen or learned about before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.